Hey everybody, Chris here from the Protocase team, and today we're going to go over everything that you need to know about rack mount enclosures. So here at Protocase, we can manufacture custom sheet metal and CNC machined enclosures in just about any style that you require. Whatever your particular application and requirements dictate, we can make it as fast as two to three days, fully finished. In a previous Prototective video, Cody did a high-level overview of all the common enclosure styles. I suggest you check that out in the description below. But for today's video, I want to specifically focus on rack mount enclosures. This type of enclosure is one of our most popular because it suits many different computing applications, including storage servers and rack mount PCs. We see a lot of rack mount enclosures here at Protocase from customers all around the world, including our friends over at 45 Drives, which offer ultra-large rack mount storage servers called Storinators. Rack mount enclosures are typically made up of four parts. You have the front panel, the chassis, the cover, and the rear. At its core, rack mount enclosures are designed to be mounted in a racked cabinet. They can be affixed into the cabinet using flanges on the front panel. These are also called rack mounting ears. Or rack mount enclosures can have drawer slides installed on the enclosure sides so the enclosure can be slid easily in and out of the cabinet. So besides standard rack mount shapes, we offer a few other specialty types. First, we have a rear bend rack mount which is useful because it cuts down on the number of parts required to assemble, and it's great if you don't need more access to the back of the enclosure. If you do have a taller rack mount, however, you may want to consider applying some tack welds or fasteners to that rear bend to keep its rigidity. Next, we have a rack mount with mounting brackets, which as I mentioned earlier, allows you to remove the rack mount's front panel without removing the entire enclosure from the rack. Finally, we also offer a step-down rack mount, which has a recess in the rear of the chassis. This can be useful if you don't want to capitalize on some of the open vertical space in the back of the enclosure. All of these rack mount styles are available in Protocase Designer, which is our free CAD software. The front panel of a rack mount enclosure is always 19 inches wide. The chassis is typically 16.75 inches wide, but you can go as wide as 17.5 inches. That's the maximum width that will fit between most mounting rails. Now let's talk height. Rack mount enclosures are measured and classified by a U, which refers to the height of the rack mount enclosure's front panel. Every U equals 1.75 inches, so a 2U would be 3.5 inches, a 3U would be 5.25 inches, and a 4U would be 7 inches. Now we can manufacture any U height here at Protocase, since everything we make is custom to your specs. But one caution on that though, most mounting racks can only fit a maximum of 42U height. Now a U technically equals 1.75 inches, but here at Protocase, we manufacture custom rack mount enclosures to be 0.03 inches shorter. Why? Well, there's two reasons. First, making them 0.03 inches rather than the specified U height allows for proper clearances between enclosures when they're racked in a cabinet. Plus, by going 0.03 inches shorter, we can account for our manufacturing tolerances. Now you may have heard the term full height rack mount enclosure. Typically, rack mount enclosures manufactured at Protocase have the top and bottom of the enclosure inset 0.125 inches from the top and bottom edges of the front panel. This is to allow for screw head clearance outside of the enclosure for any components that are mounted inside the case. You can opt for the top and bottom of the enclosure to be flush with the top and bottom of the front panel if that suits your particular needs. In that case, you should specify that you require a full height rack mount enclosure. Another tip for rack mount enclosures, if you will be mounting different rack mount enclosures on top of each other in a cabinet, you should consider using flathead screws and countersinking. This will prevent the enclosures from rubbing against each other if they're racked close together. We did cover countersinking in another Prototech Tip video, so check out the link below in the description. As with all the enclosures we offer, we recommend thinking through ventilation by adding strategically placed cutouts. This can be especially important with rack mount enclosures stored within a racked cabinet because air circulation isn't always optimal in that kind of environment. You may also require forced air ventilation through hardware such as fans. Of course, rack mount enclosures manufactured by Protocase can be customized with all the finishes, graphics, and marking that you need, and we've got links below to many of our Prototech tips that cover our custom finishes. So do you want to save valuable design time for your next custom rack mount enclosure? Well, why don't you use Protocase Designer for easy designing, fast quoting, and ordering? Or check out our website's template generator. You can generate a rack mount template in your required dimensions and material thickness, and then you can customize it in the CAD software of your choice. Well, thanks very much for watching this week's Prototech Tip video. If you do have a topic you want covered in a future video, let us know by emailing info at protocase.com, commenting below, or telling your Protocase account manager. That's it for today, we'll see you back here again next week.